Welcome to our third annual Halloween special. Is that why you said that? Yep, because I believe this is our third one. Probably not. I don't know how many episodes we've done for Halloween. But on this episode, we're talking about the one that started it all for uh, Art the Clown. All Hallows Eve, the 2013 anthology film directed by Damien Leone. The one that gave us a different actor playing First Art of all, the Clown. First is Damien Leone. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know that uh, you mm. knew him. That Wait, close he's Spanish. Person. He's Hispanic. No, French. Yeah. Dam- Damien Leon. Uh, it's an anthology movie, like the was it uh, creep show movies and yeah, and yeah, yeah, Tales from the Crypt movies, uh, which is played obviously takes place during Halloween, where a you know a babysitter is taking care of kids and the kids are given a VHS. Obviously, kids nowadays know what a VHS is, obviously. And they watch What is this tape? Uh-huh. Okay. They don't even know what tape is. What are you talking about? That's, Bro, that's the first thing I said. 2013, and they still have they a VHS didn't... player in that house? No, that's, that's impossible. It's They're garbage. Impossible. It's impossible. Horrible premise. I have one in storage. Yeah, I do too. Um, it def- This one definitely is is a very, very dark, dark movie. Very, very dark. Um, yeah, but, it, but the new but, ones? Uh, no, it's not as dark or gory as the new ones. Oh. But it, but I, it is. I would love to see see the Arthur Clown character read that, like the, the the way it's done now. Instead of being a whole movie where it's like you know all gore, 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 gore. No, just have him do these little vignettes and just put it all together as as something. Just keep doing that. Make it like uh, like remember the the uh, Tales from the Dark Side movie. Where the kids trying to convince the lady, hey, you know, can I can oh, here, I got these stories? Yeah. And yeah. just doing and then have the Art the Clown character be the 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 bad guy in those in those stories. And then at the end, Art the Clown comes and kills everybody anyways. Like have them in the background of all those stories, yeah. but that but have different just like kind of what they did in this one, all hollows leave it. You have he is well, it's it, he is in this pieces one, in the stories. But those those clips are not original to the the All Hollows Eve movie because those are those are shorts that he made, like the first one mm-hmm. with the with the devil in it. Mm-hmm. That's that he made in two thousand eight. It's called the Ninth Circle, and then the the other one was made in the last one was made in two thousand eleven, and it's called Terrifier. Mm-hmm. And then and the, the alien one, one the, was the made painting. for the All Hallows Eve. That's the no, one that's, the painting that has Art the Clown, though, with the alien. And the alien, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I didn't that's, understand the the whole point of the painting. I didn't. Some of the I some of them I don't get the I don't get it I get that it's all short stories, and so, but the, he made those shorts first, mm-hmm. and then somebody convinced him into putting them all together and make another movie, just because he had these shorts already. So that's why it's like that. I no, mean, okay, it was a good way to do it, but and yeah, I mean it it, it but it is it. It is very, 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 very low budget. It's a good way of putting everything in and giving it like Art the Clown nice a nice little centerpiece because the movie starts with Art the Clown and you use Art the Clown to go into that, you know, devil story, and then you go into the alien terrifier story, and then you end with the um you end with that uh what, what's the other one? The teleporting clown the terrifier a, the yeah, gas station the, that, one the gas station one which is the alien one called uh i don't know what the the alien one one was called but it's in the middle that one's yeah, in the, the one, middle that one that one the one that i didn't like that i didn't understand that's the one i didn't understand the one with the alien because that one just ends with a painting of art the clown but you kind of see where he's getting all his lore from too from the previous stuff that he made because he says that mm-hmm. that painting was there because uh somebody got possessed into painting it and then in like the new terrifier movies the dad is possessed and he has all remember the art book yeah and he has all the the drawings yeah and he so, paints that and yeah no, it's yeah i don't know there's a lot there's a lot of things in this uh i mean i liked the premise it, it took me back to like the creep show movies the tales from the dark side and yeah. the little vignette stuff and 
it just right, reminded me like hey they they should make like they should make movies like this again not no longer like the the, the tv series where they do that, like the, the creep show tv shows like i'm I, they should make the movies where it's like vignettes like this um where it's you know you go to the theater and you watch something where it's like hey give me different horror movies directed or different horror things that are directed by other people i know that there's like those vhs series and all that other stuff but give me something that's a little bit more a little taste like, of yeah of, a different a different people yeah not that's like it. whole two and a half hour movies of a of art the clown chopping people up that's well, yeah that's what i'm saying i think I, did, I think after watching this it made me made me want to do you know what why couldn't it be done like this because then it just made me not like the terrifying movies more <laughs> it, it may, am i going yeah i can i can because i could i can actually appreciate the the little like you know like sprinkling of art the clown just to uh just yeah. to kind of uh like like enjoy what he does and be like oh it's a silly character who just goes and kills everybody mm -hmm. no i get it that'd be fun like like to, like uh let's say i tell a story about uh oh yeah this uh this guy he's uh he he got a way of killing these people uh from and he taking all his money right? and then in the background of the movie you always see like like a random art the clown pop in pop in at the very end of each story he ends up killing the characters of the story he's telling he's like man you're not really good at taking stories never ends just just buying time so art the clown comes and kills the kills over his uh you know keep him hostage and then he thinks he's safe and then he ends up killing the kid too i'm just saying that would be that'd be the much easier and uh and you could actually enjoy the Articon character for being what he is not just making these long movies about him just showing up uh in this town place Randomly. personally yeah just killing everything with no real reason yeah there's that's the the problem with the Arctic clown character for me is these terrifier movies have made me kind of go okay what's the reason there's nothing that stops him there's nothing it's just he just goes <laughs> kill 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 and then walks away it's like for what for what it makes no fucking sense and null in sense yeah nah, and, have, you did there. The, and, ah. and now that you have these now that you have these two different actors playing because you, you, in this one, you have the original you have the original character the original actor playing um art the clown mike Ginelli, um having having him play art the clown which this one looks like the discount art the clown now that you have the hmm. the other actor who is now cemented himself as being the art the clown right this guy, i don't know if you this have, guy was an actor uh, well i mean it, it, this is like one of those student actors i guess like this is one of those guys hey we find him in acting school just let's 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 put him in this um but now you have this david howard thornton and now you have him who is art the clown who is, he is now the person who is if when you think of art the clown he is art the clown yeah uh, mike Ginelli. Like, when you look at that guy you look at him he doesn't look like the art the clown when you when you watch all hallows <coughs> Eve, it doesn't feel like the same art the clown it doesn't even kind of look like the same art the clown it looks like um a wish version of art the clown i mean the the third uh, the, the third Timu art or kind of yeah does Timu look art. Like. it's just a, it's just definitely a little bit different but uh it's um it's it, it, i could see, you can see the little sprinkles where they get a lot of the other stuff from uh is it is it is it a is it a good is it a good movie i mean mm -hmm. it's up to you guys to decide did i enjoy it me <laughs> Not, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't horrible it I wasn't actually, horrible I can appreciate actually it. it was that that second story was stupid. The, the, the second the one, alien was the one was that horrible, I did, yeah. The one I, didn't, I, I I thought that one was the dumbest one out, out of all three. I didn't like the uh, first one either. The one with the the devil. None of it made sense. The I, yeah. I I enjoyed the third one. I liked more because it reminded me of what was it was it Creep Show with the Hitchhiker. Mm, like it reminded me a little bit like thanks for the ride lady with the art the clown like the her being chased in the car and um, large the way it, yeah, the 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 ending art the clown taking you know taking the getting stabbed in the eye and coming back and then you know shooting the guy in the head tell doing all all that other stuff and then coming out of the like the ending with coming out of the TV and then chopping up the kids and all that stuff you know that's that that whole thing 
that one I, I I enjoyed just because of the way it like progressed it, from be, from the beginning to the end. Uh, I just couldn't didn't understand the middle one is the the, the alien story. I, I could have gone without. I thought that was the the weakest one out of all three. I'm telling you, they should go back to making a movie like this with the with the new uh, Art the Clown, and, and actually make it make sense. I think you could still keep the Terrifier, and then you can do. Like a, I know that there's a Hallow's Eve, all Hallow's Eve part two, but I don't even know if that one has Art the Clown. So um, I haven't seen all Hallow's Eve two, uh, but I'm sure you can go back now and still make a, make continue all Hallow's Eve, give it a little bit more of a budget, and then sprinkle in like cameos, a little like do another little story with Art the Clown. Just I'm sorry, have him should, come in in there. He should be the Stan Lee in the, in these stories. In the background, just be like this random character, nor but mm. ends up being but the random character in the background ends up ruining the story by killing people and by well, killing the people there, or or like anything going on in the background, like let's say a new story, like oh, some new just clown kill all these people, just you see him killing people on TV, and then nothing you don't see anything, but you just still see what he does. That, yeah. that, that kind would of make fits, some though, sense. Stan Lee does remind me of the terrifier. <laughs> You know, don't get me started on that because I think I honestly think the uh, Marvel ruined the Stanley thing. A little yeah, let's not go there. Let's yeah. go take forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, there's I was... a. I mean, you might get a, another story. Well, there's a Terrifier four in the works, so um, you might get <laughs> a reason why he's doing what he's doing. You're not giving you reason. They're just gonna do uh, kill for kill's sake. It's it's stupid. It's gonna be we'll stupid. See. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, maybe. Oh, that's right. uh, if, Are you really gonna make me watch that shit? Maybe, too? maybe the the little girl went into the ninth circle, and uh, she's gonna be with the devil, and she's gonna mm-hmm. Sienna's give gonna some, go in there and give us some sugar, baby. Yeah, and Tele- she's gonna, she's gonna have to, <laughs> teleport. She's gonna, have to, she's gonna have to fight an evil version of herself and mm-hmm. medieval times, and then she's gonna have to take four drops, and then she's gonna sleep through the future, mm-hmm. and then she's gonna wake up in S yeah. Mart, and, and yeah. then she's gonna ride okay, a horse, so. and Tom Cruise will show up, and done. Shop S Mart. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but if have you guys seen Ooh, All Hallows Eve? If you have, comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. Did you guys like it? Do you guys do you guys understand more of it? Do you guys like the Terrifier series? Let us know. Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy you guys' Halloween. This has been Vinny. This is Ozzy. Vinny.